Let's look at solving rational equations. For example, let's solve this equation for y. We'll begin by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of these denominators here, which would be their product. Namely, y plus 2 times y minus 1 times 8 minus 7 divided by y plus 2 is equal to y plus 2 times y minus 1 times negative 5 divided by y minus 1. And now let's distribute this product to both of these terms, which gives us y plus 2 times y minus 1 times 8 plus y plus 2 times y minus 1 times negative 7 divided by y plus 2 is equal to y plus 2 times y minus 1 times negative 5 divided by y minus 1. Now, on the left-hand side, as long as y does not equal negative 2, we can cancel the y plus 2s. And on the right, as long as y does not equal 1, we can cancel the y minus 1s, which leaves us with y plus 2 times y minus 1 times 8 plus y minus 1 times negative 7 is equal to y plus 2 times negative 5. And now let's FOIL this here. This leaves us with y squared plus y minus 2, still times 8. And then we still have the plus y minus 1 times negative 7 is equal to y plus 2 times negative 5. And now let's distribute the 8 to these three terms, the negative 7 to these two terms, as well as the minus 5 to these two terms, which gives us 8y squared plus 8y minus 16 minus 7y plus 7 is equal to negative 5y minus 10. And combining like terms on the left gives us 8y squared plus y minus 9 is equal to minus 5y minus 10. And now let's bring everything to the left-hand side, which gives us 8y squared plus y plus 5y is plus 6y. And then minus 9 plus 10 is plus 1 is equal to 0. And now the left-hand side factors. It factors into 4y plus 1 times 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. And now we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0 which gives us that either y is equal to negative one-fourth or y is equal to negative one-half. Now, in solving rational equations, it's very important at this point to check and make sure that these values do not make these denominators zero. And they don't. The only excluded values would be negative two or one. And neither of these values are negative two or one, so both of these would work. So this would be our answer here. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for x. Again, we'll look at what the least common multiple of these two denominators are. And it would be this product here. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by this product. So x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 2 divided by x minus 2 
times x minus 4 is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 2 plus 1 over x minus 4. Now let's distribute this product to both of these two terms, which gives us x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 2 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 4 is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 2 plus x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 1 divided by x minus 4. And as long as x is not equal to 2, we can cancel the x minus 2's on the left. Also, as long as x is not equal to 4, we can cancel the x minus 4's on the left and on the right over here. And what are we left with? We have 2 is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 4 times 2, and then plus x minus 2 times 1. Or 2 is equal to, and let's FOIL this out, we have x squared minus 6x plus 8, still times 2, and then we have plus x minus 2. And now we'll distribute this 2 through to all these terms here, which leaves us with 2 is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 16 and then plus x minus 2. Or combining like terms on the right, we have 2 is equal to 2x squared minus 11x plus 14. And now bringing all the terms to one side gives us 2x squared minus 11x plus 12 is equal to 0. And this left-hand side will factor into 2x minus 3 times x minus 4. Now we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0. When the first factor is 0, we get x is equal to 3 halves, and when the second factor is 0, we get x is equal to 4. Remember, we have to check that these values do not make our denominator 0 up here. And sure enough, when x is equal to 4, both of these denominators will be 0. 4 is an excluded value, so we have to cross it off our list here. Therefore, our only answer would be x is equal to 3 halves. And this is how we solve rational equations. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.